CartFlow already has the most powerful rules engine for displaying the right offers to the right people based on some conditions or rules. But today, that rule engine gets so much more powerful with the introduction of a multi-select option that you could place on your checkout where you could ask your buyer a question and then present to them offers after the checkout based upon their answer. Let me show you how this works. Here is the CartFlow's multi-step checkout and I already have a product in the cart. So what we need to do first is create a new radio select option that's gonna display here and we're gonna ask the buyer a question. I simply need to visit the checkout. So I'm gonna go to CartFlow's and here it is, store checkout. Here is that checkout step, I'll click on it. And then right here, I'll click on form fields. And then right here, I'm going to enable the custom field editor. And here are the fields that we're displaying on the multi-step checkout. So all I need to do is click over here where it says add custom field. And I'm going to add this to the billing, this is fine. And then for the type, I'm gonna choose right here where it says radio. Then I'm going to ask a question right here and I've entered in what interests you more. You can use this any way that you want. If you want your buyer to self-identify themselves, so if you want to say what best describes you, I am an online course creator, I own a membership site, I'm a website agency, you can add whatever question that you want and based upon the answer, we're gonna show a custom upsell. So all you need to do is enter in that question right here. And then for the options, this is the options someone's going to be able to select. And you want to separate it by this little pipe character right here. This is the way you add options already in WooCommerce for variations. So I'm going to add some here. All right, I've added these three options, coffee, produce, and skincare. And then I want to choose this option right here to make this required. And we also have these options for custom fields if you want to show the selection inside of the email that goes out to the merchant for the order confirmation. So I'll go ahead and click on add new field. And so now my question is at the bottom. We can drag and drop this anywhere we want. I'll just leave it there at the bottom. That's fine and click on save settings. And we're back to our multi-step checkout. I'm going to refresh the page and guess what? We now have that radio select right here. You can see the questions being asked and here's the three options. So now let me show you how to conditionally show an upsell based upon the answer that someone puts in here. So here's the flow and where we're going to set this is inside of the checkout. That's where you set where your buyer ends up next. So I'll click into store checkout. I'll choose the option here that says dynamic offers. I'll enable this checkbox. And I have one upsell as you saw. So let's create a rule of who gets sent to that upsell. So I'm gonna choose the upsell. Let's go ahead and expand this by clicking here on the far right. So this is where we set the rule of who is going to go here. So in the drop down, we're gonna choose order custom field and is equal to, and then right here we have to enter in the custom field meta key. I know this sounds pretty techy. It's actually very simple. Here I am back where I created that custom field right there. Let's go ahead and expand it. And when I scroll down, you can see here is that custom field meta key ID. Let's go ahead and select it all like this, put it into our clipboard, and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna paste it in right there. Okay, now we just need to put the answer. So I'm gonna send someone to this upsell if they choose coffee. So all I need to do is enter in coffee. Now if the buyer does not choose coffee, we're gonna skip this upsell and we're just gonna send them straight to the thank you page step. Okay, so I'll go ahead and save my settings. Now let's test it out. First thing, I'll place a test order without choosing coffee. I'll choose produce, because that's what I'm most interested in. I'll click on continue. I'll leave it at the flat rate shipping. I'll click on continue. And I'm just gonna go on buy now, and you can see I'm going straight to the thank you page. Now let's try that over. I'll quickly add a product to the cart. Let's go ahead and go straight to the checkout. This time I'm gonna choose 
coffee. I'll click on continue to shipping, continue to payment. I'll leave it at cash on delivery. I'll go to buy now and you can see now I'm landing right here on the one click upsell. It's perfectly targeted to me. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my order and you can see now I've completed my purchase. Here you can see my order for the first product and here you can see my order for that one click upsell. This is just another way that Cartflows enables you to create the most powerful and flexible sales funnels where you're targeting and making the right offers to the right people at the right time with the Cartflows rules engine. And you can take this as far as you want. If you wanted to have a separate upsell for each of the selections, so coffee, skin, care produce you easily could have done that and just created the rule to direct the buyer based upon how they answered that question we use card flows ourselves in our product businesses we actually built this for us so we could find out who someone is before we make an additional offer to them we're confident that this is going to help your woocommerce store sell more thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up we'll see you in the next video